Hear that music on a Friday morning. He must be sitting around solving the world's problems with Baron. Uh, your name is probably Tanner Lee because it's not Dick Belcher. <laughs> morning. Hello, not Dick Belcher. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I like the intro there. First federal money program. Yes, that is uh, Wolverine. The guy who played Wolverine. I'm blanking on his name. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Yeah. yeah. He uh, appeared in Oklahoma on Broadway. Didn't know that. Yeah, because he's a great cowboy. You know, he's from like <laughs> Perth or someplace. Uh, but yeah, Hugh Jackman. See, you never know what you're going to hear on, hear or learn on this program. I'm telling so. you, we are on it. Well, I do know it's going to be hot today and tomorrow. Yes. Ooh. Yes, we're going to have heat indexes up above 100 for the next couple of days. So. But then next week's going to be glorious. It's yeah. going to be like 81 and sunny on Monday. And, and I see even Saturday now the forecast <clears> is back to the mid. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe something like that. Maybe. So. Saturday. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday? No. No, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, yeah. Yeah, Sunday. I know tomorrow's supposed to be really warm. And we might get some rain Sunday, which wouldn't hurt. There we go. Yeah, so. well, it's Indiana, take a nap if you don't like the weather. <laughs> but if you're outside uh, today and tomorrow, just be safe, stay hydrated, try yes, to stay please. cool. And take care of your animals if they're outside. Maybe let them come inside. It's, it's pretty hot for uh, animals as well. And so. run your errands without them. Yeah. Don't leave them in the car. It's very, the very car. dangerous for a, an animal to be left in the car right now. Uh, modern technology, you know, you get a car now and it's got a thermometer in it. Yeah. Up there on the dashboard, you get in the car right now. And I leave here at noon. I don't leave here at 3 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I leave, and it'll be like 110. Oh, car, yeah. You know, the car's like, stop. Especially if you have a black car. Yeah. Yeah. So, got a few other lead stories here. I see the House passed the $15 minimum wage bill. Oh, really? Had a vote of 231 to 199, so I know that's been going on for about seven years to try to get that. Yeah. As far as that, so. Probably only through the Senate, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll see what happens yeah. after this. But I know it was a big story on uh, CNN.com yesterday. Uh, it had been been in the works for quite a while, so they think they made some progress there. So we'll see, and that would gradually. If it goes on all the way through, it gradually move it up from 725 to the $15 mark by the year 2025. So. Ah. Uh, Area 51 uh, kind of was in the headlines earlier this week as uh, somebody started it supposedly as a joke online that they should raid Area 51. And then it got tons of interest, got people to sign on online. And now the guy that originally did it said, oh my god, what and, have I done? Yeah, it's saying something about doing it in September. So uh, Area 51 has been in the headlines more this week than it's been for quite a while. So yeah. we'll see. I, I we'll know it got blown happened. up in Independence Day. I think I remember that. I think you're right. So uh, we'll see. But, but that was the headline at the beginning of the week. And then by now it's the Face app that's taking over all social media. It's an application that you take a selfie, you, and it makes you, well, it can make you younger too, but most people are doing the old feature, the old filter yeah. on it, it makes you yeah. look really old. By a company out of Leningrad, Russia. Yeah. So, so they're undoubtedly trustworthy. Yeah, so, <clears throat> like a lot of apps these days. I always say 20 years from now, every law school in America is gonna have an entire wing dedicated to Adults who are suing their parents for what they did to them now when they were children on <laughs> Facebook. Okay. But uh, I even saw the more athletes and celebrities doing the uh, Face App challenge last night. So I don't know when it's going to phase out. It could be next week. It could be a month. Who knows? But and Amazon uh, Prime Day was on Monday and Tuesday. I hope everybody took advantage of some of the deals out there. I know I bought a few things. So. Uh, it's hard not to. I'm interested to see the reports when they come out with the numbers from this year. I know in years past it's been just a stupid amount of money they've got over those two days. <laughs> but some of their competitors like it, like Walmart and um, others, because then they can put good deals out as well. So, yeah, it's another excuse. Yeah, to... Which used to, they used to not like it, I don't think, because they used to lose a lot of business, but they've kind of changed their way of thinking there. We had a new member of the club that Bezos and Bill Gates were in. Yes, I, I got that in the money that, news. Yeah. It was more than ten billion or a hundred billion. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, it was reported that Bill Gates is no longer the world's second richest person. Rich billionaire Bernard uh, Arnault. So, yeah. <laughs> he owns uh, that title with a net worth of one hundred eight billion dollars. Yeah, so Gates is at one hundred seven. Bezos is like one hundred twenty. Right. 
He's the CEO of luxury goods maker LVMH. Can't say I've I have no never idea. heard of them. So. I don't have that many luxury goods. <laughs> but, yeah, so Bill Gates is now the number three richest guy in the world. Poor guy. Well, I got some trivia this morning. We're going to be joined by uh, Executive Director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce, Jillian Kramer. I want to know what year was the Rochester Area Chamber of, Co of Commerce established? Not the Fulton County Chamber, the Rochester Area Chamber. Was it mm. 1940, 1945, or 1950? Interesting. So, you yeah, had a one in three chance, Baron. I'll let you think about that. Got some sports here, and actually a few local sports notes. There's a lot of uh, all-star baseball tournaments going on this time of year, kind of winding down. The Rochester uh, 10 and under softball team went undefeated and kept off their season by winning the town and country state title. So congratulations Excellent. to them. I know one of their coaches is our own uh, Stacy Wilson of First Federal, and so she was real uh -huh. excited about that. Said so this was uh, four years in the making. She said with most of these girls, so they would always fall a little short, but not this year. They got up for the hump, so very cool. Rochester 8 and under uh, boys baseball, they were district, district runners up, but they're headed to semi state this weekend, so good luck to them. And the Rochester 12 and under baseball won the district and are moving on this weekend, so good luck to them. It's going to be, like I mentioned at the beginning, a hot weekend, so uh, especially to play baseball, wearing baseball pants and uniform. Oh, man. Get the, a lot of water, Gatorade, and Powerade in your system. You're not so. going to want to be a catcher. Oh, oh yeah, good point. <laughs> good point. <laughs> oh. Hey, let's do about a thousand squats. Yeah, yeah, and some heavy, heavy protective gear, usually black yeah. protective gear. So, uh, with no shade. No, I've noticed there's no trees on a baseball. I usually no. They'll try that though. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's MLB something. Will try that that's before. something coming next. They won't get nets down the foul line at every stadium, but. But I, I could go on for a long, a long time about that. Put so a couple of sick <laughs> out there. Uh, the fourth and final golf major of the year, the British Open, is underway actually right now. Um, round two. Uh, round one completed yesterday with J.B. Holmes, the leader in the clubhouse, with five under par. And Shane Lowry, four under par, right behind him. Big names such as Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy did not play as well. Tiger shot seven over par, Rory eight over, so they're going to have to shoot something really, really good yeah. to be around for the weekend. Um, my favorite thing about watching that tournament is you never know what the weather's going to be like. Yesterday it was sunny one hole, then it would rain another hole, oh, yeah. it was windy one hole. <laughs> so they're taking off the rain rain uh, protection equipment on and off all day yesterday. So you got to be mentally tough to win over there, not not yeah. just good. And so, they got them sand traps that look like Luke yep. Skywalker's getting ready to leak down. There was one pro yesterday, David Duvall. He's more of a commentator now. He used to play a lot. He shot a 91 yesterday, including a 13 on a hole. A 13. A 13. <laughs> he hit two balls out of bounds, there. then he hit another one, then he hit the wrong ball, and it was a mess. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, it makes me feel good when the pros can do that. I'm going to say that's barren level golf. <laughs> All right. I got some tidbits here this morning. On this day in 1877, the first Wimbledon men's tennis tournament was held as Spencer Grove beat William Marshall. 1877. I didn't know it was that old. Yeah, I knew no. it was old, but I. That would have been on the long those hand mode with. I guess they would have had the tournament. Yeah, they would have had the. Yeah. So but. that'd be all right. I just had visions. <laughs> yeah. Swinging a sigh it's, out there trying to get that grass level. It still amazes me how short they can get that grass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the rackets back then. What, what year was that? 1877. Yeah, so, I mean, at the very beginning. Tightly yeah. anything. Yeah. They had to be loose as yeah. On this day in 1913, Billboard published the earliest known last week's 10 best sellers among popular songs list as Melinda's Wedding Day was number one. Well, congratulations, <laughs> Melinda. On this day in 1969, Apollo 11 went into moon orbit. Yeah. It was the 50th anniversary earlier this week. and uh, There's exactly one person in this room that's old enough to remember that. That you're really correct. That depresses me. <laughs> you're, you're, you're welcome for but that. Yeah, I can definitely remember that. <laughs> On this day in 1996, the 26th uh, Summer Olympic Games opened in Atlanta, Georgia. I remember that too. Yeah. yeah. A lot of different takeaways. Was that the one where uh, Muhammad Ali was? Yes, he was. Yep. And then Gomer tried to do a pipe bomb down there. Yep. 
You're correct. Uh, we did pretty well in the uh, mm -hmm. women's gymnastics. Mm -hmm. You're correct. So you know your Olympics. Well, I'm just old. <laughs> and today is National Talk in the Elevator Day and <laughs> National uh, Daiquiri Day. So okay, well, one know, of those makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how those two uh, coexist there, but... Uh, That's just what you need, some guy you don't elevator know. Elevator talk. In a trench coat starting to talk to you in an elevator. <laughs> well, hopefully you're not stuck in the elevator. Yeah, no so. doubt. Then I'm going to be able to talk. <laughs> i got some upcoming events going on around the community uh, this weekend and the upcoming weeks. Uh, the Northern Indiana Power of the Pass is going on today through Sunday over in Winnemac. That's always a really big deal. Um, it's a really popular event going on. They mm -hmm. got tons of different events over there, so go check that out. Uh, the Akron Public Library is holding a Star Wars-themed escape room tonight. You really? must be uh, 13 or older to participate in groups cannot c contain more than six individuals per time slot. Escape room. Escape room. It's, I've never done one. They're really popular. Um, I've seen a bunch of my friends on social media do them. It's, uh, have you ever done one, Julian? I, I have. Has this got something to do with talking to somebody on an elevator? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, that's going to be wrong, but... You know, we did a, it was a team building exercise at my former employer. We took all of our managers and assistant managers up there, and no one quit. So that was really great. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to you? <laughs> they lock you in a room and say, you have 60 minutes, good luck. And, and you're supposed to get out? And you got to get out. No, you do get clues, right? You do. So you Is start there like a famous even... series of horror movies about that? <laughs> Sounds like a salt. Salt, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's. You have, you, they give you clues, you're answering trivia questions? No, maybe? so, oh, it's incredible. So there's different themes. And you go in, yeah, we had six or seven people in, in my group. So we went in, they locked us in, and we had to actually find the first clue and hope that it led us to a greater clue and a greater clue. So whether it was finding a key to unlock a safe to get to a jump, okay. uh, you know, a puzzle, a word puzzle or something. And, find your way out. Okay. It's kind of like a road key. rally. There you, you know, go. Go to McDonald's, so. turn left, go to Burger King, turn right, go <laughs> six miles down <laughs> towards lighters, that kind of thing. So it sounds, sounds like a fun event going on tonight at the Akron Public Library. It's, like I said, Star Wars theme. So if you're 13 years or older. <laughs> you're in a trash compactor with a giant worm. Yeah, you can, <laughs> the Chewies in you can dress up like Chewbacca or Luke go. Skywalker, whoever you want. So. Yeah. Uh, Rochester School's public MacBook sale is open on this upcoming Monday from 8 to 3.30 and uh, on Tuesday at the same time. That will be held at the Rochester Learning Center. 11-inch uh, MacBook Airs will be sold as, as is. No charger comes with them. $200 cash only. And you need to bring a proof of residency with you. So, okay. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Those are usually pretty good computers. So. Yeah. Yeah, my wife's had one for you. Uh, the Oaks Golf Course is going to be holding a junior golf clinic from 11 or from 9 to 11 a.m. Monday through Friday next week. So I'm a big golfer, of course. So I encourage you get your uh, get your kids out there, your grandkids out there, let them have fun two hours a day for a week and learn about a sport you can play the rest of your life. Yeah, so, literally. Yes, literally. Yeah, with cute and country. Oh, yeah, if, if you're you, not in the audience, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. If you're a fan, pretty hard to concuss yourself. I mean, maybe if you three putt, you want to hit yourself with your putter sometimes. But um, got the Fulton Fun Day Festival coming up on uh, Saturday, August third. Have some more detail about that next on next week's program. But I know they got a whole run sheet of different events that day, including the um, Fulton Bulldog Run, which is always a real good event. So. I've seen the list, a bunch of fun events going on there uh, this year, so we'll, we'll talk about that more next week. Uh, from now through August 21st, the Midwest Eye Consultants are donating $5 from every pair of sunglasses they sell to Leader Dogs for the Blind. So really, really good organization there, really, really cool of them to do that. That's going on from now through August 21st, so if you need some sunglasses, go see them and uh, some of those proceeds will go to a really good cause. Cool. And uh, the Fulton County United Way is hosting a fundraising event with Snobble Tier on August 10th at 3.30. It's going to be a one-mile fun run slash walk. I think they're calling it something on, on the lines of uh, grapes, grapes and grains or grapes with grains. 
uh, and that is because it's got four stops along the way and you can enjoy Snobbled's here wine, beer, and cheese and root beer will be available for those under 21 or those who would rather just have root beer than uh, wine or beer. Cost is $30 for the entry and uh, that is for of course, the fun run and walk. So I think they've done this for a couple of years now. They've partnered together. It's a really great event and that will be going on before their uh, summer series concert event later that night that they've been holding almost every weekend this summer. So a lot of cool things going on out there. Yeah. Uh, I got a milestone here. Um, Rochester High School assistant football coach Ken Hughes was honored for his 30 seasons of coaching the Indiana Football Coaches Association North-South All-Star Game last week. So I didn't realize he had been helping out with that for 30 years. Goodness. So got honored. And I know his daughter was a manager during that game. So congratulations to both of them. Very, very cool. Got some flowers I want to give out this morning. Uh, first off, to all the First Federal family members for helping out last week with our customer appreciation day at the Rochester branch. It was a really good turnout. Went very well. It went very well. Um, we were there. Yeah, we, you were there. Thank you again for that. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of our wonderful customers who came out. Um, it, was, it was a warm day, but not as warm as it's going to be today. Say, be so worse. actually, it was, it was really nice weather day. Um, had a good day of food and ice cream and soda and just a good day of chatting with our customers. So it's always a day we enjoy. A lot goes into it. So just thank you to all of our customers and, and first federal family members for helping out, helping make that day successful. Uh, flowers to Jerry Good. I'm being appointed to serve on the Indiana State uh, Coroner's Training Board. She's uh, been around the community for many years with uh, Good's Family Funeral Home. So I thought that was a pretty, co pretty cool honor. For her to get appointed to serve on that board. And flowers to the Knights of Columbus for raising uh, $2,307 during their annual Tootsie Roll Drive back in May. On uh, May 3rd and 4th, they're out uh, outside the Big R taking money. And then if you donate money, you got Tootsie Roll. Uh, all of those proceeds are going to the Fulton County Special Olympics. So $2,307 oh, raised will go there. So great. great job by them. Got some money news this morning. The Dow futures are up 44 to uh, 27,245. And as Mr. Belcher would say, it's either going to go up or down today. Yep. We'll see. Exactly. It's going to do something. <laughs> uh, I already mentioned Bill Gates is no longer the second uh, richest person in the world. He is now the third behind uh, uh, Bezos and um, Bernard Arnault, who I still want to know what this LVMH Company yeah. makes. It's luxury goods, but I don't know more than that. So Never heard of some research. Uh, Apple and Google announced they're adding some new emojis this week. Well, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they're, they're going to be adding some new over the few months. Uh, some of those emojis for Apple will include a sloth, a flamingo, a skunk, an orangutan, and a yawning. And then on the Android side, you're going to have 71 couples with different skin tones. All in one emoji. <laughs> well, Oh, there'll be 71 of 71 different options of couples with skin tones. So, it's going to be a lot to choose from. Not for me. <laughs> Not emoji user? Just look at that car out there. <laughs> it was, it was uh, World Emoji Day earlier this week on uh, Wednesday. I have to wear dark clothing so. in the snow where people will run over me in their car. <laughs> uh, speaking of cars, uh, Chevrolet yes. is the 2020 Corvette. It's going to be built differently than any Corvette they've ever yep. made. Engine behind the Engine's driver. Be in the back. Yeah. yeah. And then the passenger is going to be up closer to the front tires than ever before. Right. So it's a completely different drive. It looks completely different too. It'll be it'll be a completely different thing. Yeah. You've got a huge engine in the front, and you're going downhill. You really don't want to slam off your brakes. Not usually or take good a sharp idea. turn, but so. things change a little bit when the engine behind you. Yeah, we'll see. You know, it's one of those things you always have to evolve and come up with something new. So. <laughs> yeah. Formula One did this way back. Yeah. The Lion King comes out in theaters today. I know. So please don't ruin the ending for me. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler! Um, I saw the trailer for Cats. I, yep. 
Uh, we'll see. <laughs> it's got a cast. Well, I gotta give you that. Yeah, it's got a it cast. does. It sells a Lion King. So yeah, it sense. does. And, and the Lion King's got very mixed reviews so far. Yeah, the story line, Rotten Tomatoes gets one review. Like the technology gets another review. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of. So, so we'll, we'll see, and, but I'm sure that's going to bring in a bunch of money. That's why I haven't doubted the money news. As long as he doesn't go nuts in the last two episodes and burn down King's Landing, I'm good. <laughs> and one more uh, note uh, here about money news. Toys R Us is making a comeback in the U.S. I saw that. But only, they're only going to open two new stores, and they're going to be smaller than the previous stores. The stores are going to be open right around holiday time later this year in Houston and uh, Paramus. New Jersey. Paramus, New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I don't know what logic went into yeah, picking. going to be a bumper crop of kids in Paramus. I mean, I can understand Houston, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There must be some reason <laughs> okay. to pick there. But that'll be interesting because all 200 of their stores closed just this past year. So we'll see if they make a comeback or if it's just going to be around for a little bit. Uh, today at First Federal, we're open until 5 p.m. and tomorrow from 8.30 till noon. So come see us. And you can always bank with us online with our mobile app, which is free to download on the App Store, both for uh, Apple devices and Google devices. Uh, it's, you can do pretty much anything you want to do with your bank account right there from your handheld device through our app. My favorite feature, I think, is uh, just taking a picture of my check and depositing it right there. I don't have to go down to the teller line. Yeah. Anything like that. That's been an amazing development. And our ATM is always open 24-7 if you need some cash as well. We're proud to offer many different mortgage products, including yet USDA, FHA loan, conventional loans, one-step construction loans, and the popular premier first-time home buyer loans. And we offer many more than just those I mentioned. If you uh, are interested in Getting any type of loan, the loan originators Ben Dalton and John Schaefer here in Rochester or Bill Morris over in Winnemac can provide you with more details. We offer Simply Free checking accounts and Simply Free business checking accounts. When you open the checking account, you get a free gift. Right now that's a uh, collapsible, I'm going to call it a lawn table. It's kind of like a lawn chair. It's made of the same material, but it's a little table that stands up and it's got two places you can hold your drinks. They're pretty neat looking. I'd never actually seen one before until we started offering it for a gift for our checking accounts. Um, they seem to be pretty popular, so cool. come open up a free checking account and get one. Or you can uh, tell a friend, tell a friend to come open up an account. Um, if they come open up an account, not only will they get a gift, you get a gift as well for referring your friends. So there's a couple different ways you can get a free um, collapsible lawn table. We offer commercial lending for businesses. Contact Lindy Breeden for more information. And we also offer financial services through LBL, LPL Financial. Uh, contact Mark Blueball or Brian Bell today for more information. And we are active on four different social media platforms, so please give us a like on Facebook. You can find us on there by just typing in First Federal Savings Bank, looking for the white star with the green background. And we're also active on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow us. Our handle there is at FFBanking. And we're also on LinkedIn. You can find us the same as, as Facebook. Just type in for Federal Savings Bank and look for the green star with the white background. And, of course, we have to present this for legal purposes. Borrowers must be underwriting guidelines. We are a member FDIC and an equal housing lender. And our NL, NMLS number is 399-927. We are legal. All right, that brings us to the meet of our program now. We're joined by Jillian Kramer, who is the Executive Director of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. She's been a regular guest on the show a couple different times, so welcome, Jillian. Oh, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. So what is going on with the Chamber of Commerce? Well, we have a lot going on um, the end of the summer and into the fall, and Mary reminded me, I'm actually back here for yeah. a couple hours today, so we'll, we'll talk a lot more about the Chamber, then I thought I'd run through some of our upcoming events. Um, Dan, I'm sure you got the invitation all, already, but our fuel group is meeting yes. Tuesday morning. Um, this is open to the public. You know, we have a, a nice group of young leaders, young workers, those, oh, we try to keep it under age 40, but we won't card you. Um, so come on out to uh, Rochester Bagel and Coffee House Tuesday morning, 7.30 to 8.30. They'll be providing coffee for free, and then you can order breakfast. Um, and we'll, we'll hear from Brian Goodman. 
president of Modern Materials. He served on city council on the president of the Fedco board as well. So he's going to talk about his background, why he chooses to be in Fulton County, and why we should also um, choose to stay here. So I think that'll be a really nice hour before before work. We can all get filled up and and off to our place of business. So open to the public, free to attend. Hopefully the weather is nice enough. We can sit out on the on the um, patio there and just enjoy a nice morning together. Yeah, those, those are always fun events for anybody that's one to come out for the first time. Like Jillian mentioned, they're free. Don't have to fill anything out, don't have to register. Just come on out and enjoy a cup of coffee or a bagel or yeah, a fruity uh, smoothie or whatever you want. You so. know, that's a great place to go for breakfast. Yeah, it is. I, I love it. I love it there. I don't know if I can find my way over there from the bank. I might get lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? You better be there. <laughs> And then, at, let's see, we also have a business after hours coming up at Winfield Crossing. And I went out to Winfield. They, they offered to take me out to lunch there when I, when I started. And I went out. It is the best tuna salad I have ever had in my life. They've got great food there. The staff is wonderful. Just a really welcoming place. And so we're excited to have a business after hours, August 8th, 4.30 to 6.30 p.m., again, open to the public. And they're encouraging everyone to come out and see what Winfield Crossing is all about. It's, you know, we don't want people to be intimidated or to, to not feel welcome. They're they're going to have light refreshments. They're bringing in Schnabel Care wine. Uh, they'll do some tours, some door prizes. So I think it'll be just a really fun yeah. evening uh, and encourage everyone to come out and, and check out Winfield. Um, so we're doing that August 8th. Also, August 8th is uh, we have an HR workshop 9 to 11 a.m. and that's an exclusive benefit to our chamber members. So we're actually sending out an invitation today. Uh, so our chamber members will see that, uh, but it's included in the membership 9 to 11 a.m. Ivy Tech is coming in and they're gonna talk about what's trending in HR. And speaking of members, how many members do you have currently right now? We have right around 240. Wow. I don't think it's the exact number. But uh, right I around. see almost weekly on Facebook that you do a post about new members, which yeah. is exciting. Yeah, it, it's wonderful. In fact, I, was, I had a meeting with um, Jackie Johnson over at Tidewater Team. She says, or this week she says, well, can I get the, the pack of backpacks mm -hmm. signed up? We, we want to be involved. So absolutely. So mm -hmm. we got fun the, the first of the week. And then um, Dick's driving. That's the one I saw on yep. Facebook yesterday. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I went over there to meet Jeff, and he goes, yeah, we, get, we need a get involved so uh, just that uh, people are, are jumping up signing up and anyone that's interested you know you can join if you're a retired individual we have um, some over-the-road truck drivers that are involved in their businesses not just in Rochester but all over the county we have businesses in Akron, Tijuana, surrounding areas Wabash, Plymouth all over um, joining our chamber and you can call call me 224-2666 or stop by 822 Main Street in Rochester uh, how many board of directors do you have? Twenty-two. 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 Goodness. Yeah, we have a just a great representation. We had a board meeting yesterday, in fact, and uh, yeah, it's fun to look around the room. We have school superintendents, and um, we have the city, the county represented, plus businesses all throughout the county. So it's just a, a good opportunity to get some community leaders in the room and to lead our chamber well. How often do those uh, board directors change, or if somebody's interested in the future of becoming a board director, how do they go about yeah. doing that? Yeah, so they sign up for three-year terms, um, and we we do a new slate of directors every January. Okay. So we'll actually, I'm forming the nominating committee this month, um, and then we'll go through and talk about, you know, is anyone interested, has anyone expressed interest, or who, who are we seeing a need for? Um, you know, we were missing some of our retailers last year, and we said, you know what, good to go. They're so involved in our community, and we really feel like they would have a great representation. Yeah. So called them up and said, we would love to serve. Um, they, that's been a great asset. But if anyone's interested in serving on the board of directors, it is a three-year um, term, and you can serve up to two terms in a row, um, call me, email me. Um, we would love to hear from you. And, and if there's any board of directors out there now that are interested in presidency next year, <laughs> <laughs> let me know. We, we'd love to chat there. Well, Jillian, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you, you for everything you do, not only for the chamber, but for the whole community of Fulton County. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tanner. Thanks for having me on here. And it goes back to our trivia question. What year was the Rochester Area Chamber of Commerce established? 1940, 1945, or 1950? I'm going to take a wild guess, 45. You are correct. 
1945. Yeah, when you came home from the war, it just seems like a year when you would start things. I can't stump you, Baron. I tried my hardest. No, you yes, so, you can't. So. <laughs> it happens every day when I get home. I just want to walk. Ian, I have a quote to wrap up the show. I think it's pretty fe fitting with the uh, weather we're going through right now. It was by Yogi Berra, catcher oh. of the New York Yankees. If it ain't the heat, it's the humidity. If it ain't the heat, it's the humidity. <laughs> very good. Tanner Lee, thank you very kindly. Jillian, thank you. Our fabulous camera lady, thank you. First federal program coming your way every Friday morning right here at 92.1 WROI. We're going to just go straight into ABC News.